All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing the bluegill fly fishing catch and cook challenge. Let's get right into it. Jacob just caught the first bluegill of the day. I haven't even got my line in the water. He caught a big one, good eater size. So uh, let's get on some more. Guys, just hooked up with my first bluegill on the fly. Uh, I, I came off. What? Dude, that one's a big one. Dang. Just got my first bluegill of the day on the fly. Not gonna keep. Get a break. Is it or isn't it? Oh yeah. I would. I think that's a good size. Huh? Oh, I got a bass. Not that I should be complaining. I guess. Not sure if the camera was recording or not, but got a nice little bass on the fly. My first ever bass on the fly. We're not eating bass today. We're just eating bluegill. So let's let this little guy go. All right, guys. I'm going to try to catch some. Oh, there's like 800 bazillion of them right there off of this pier slash dock slash thing. Look, they won't put it all the way in their mouth. The most delicious. Oh, there we go, guys. That's eater. Morning. Yeah, I'll eat this one. All right, guys. My first keeper bluegill on the fly. Let's put him in the cooler. All right, guys. First bluegill going in the cooler. Dink. Jacob, you think this one's a keeper? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. Okay, Flair. Guys, just hooked up to another one on the little fly. Crap. Stupid thing won't stop squirming. Let him go. Too small. There we go. Whoa. It is cl it's close. No, that's too small. I wouldn't call that a flare fish. It's a decent one. Which rod? That is I'll keep that one. It's about the same size as the a few of the ones you have in there. All right, second keeper of the day for me, guys. Uh, Got to get this hook out. My second keeper of the day, put him in the cooler. All right, guys, got this one. Got to whack him over the head with some forceps, then put him in the cooler. There's another keeper. Whack it over the head with a knife. Okay, yeah, that's a better idea. Are you cooking them whole? No. All right, guys. Second, third keeper for me. Let's, all right, guys. Come, three keepers for me so far. Up, just to be clear for everyone, there is no minimum size. We're just keeping ones that are e edible, not like little tiny dinks. Ones that are worth. Ones that are worth eating. Yes. All right. Come on, eat it, eat it. Got him. That's a big one. Oh, there we go, guys. Fourth for me. I am leading the challenge. Well, it sort of is. 
there's no like punishment or anything. But there we go, guys. Fourth one for me. Let's get him cool in the cooler. Alrighty, folks. I think that was my fifth keeper. Don't really remember. I don't remember. There we go. Well, Bobber's the only as good as the person fishing. Didn't lose anything. Small one. No, we don't want dinks here. Oh, well, there's a keeper right there. There we go. Hey, keeper. No, this isn't the one I was talking about. Another little guy, folks. Folks at home, folks at home. Another little one. Arms don't count. There's a mink. Another small one, guys. Oh, he came. Alright, guys. Another super tiny bluegill here. We need to get some bigger ones. There you go. There we go, guys. There's a keeper. Keep tension. Here's my fifth keeper, I think. There we go, guys. Nice one. Here we go. This one, guys. Too small for... Too small to eat. Not enough meat on this guy. Bass! I got a bass! Look at him run! On the fly! There we go, guys. My first ever... Um, my second ever bass on the fly. I'm pretty sure I caught one earlier. Oh, he choked it. There. There we go, guys. All right, guys, so uh, I've caught a few on the fly. Uh, I'm going to catch one more, and then I'm going to call it a day for the fishing part of this fly fishing. And then I'll catch you guys in the kitchen. So uh, let me get one more. All right, guys, I decided to just end it. I'll show you the our box. Here's our box of bluegills. We got like about 10 of them in there. Uh, I'll catch you guys when I'm in my kitchen. Alrighty folks, so I'm sitting in my kitchen right now and I'm finishing off the catch and cook video, but unfortunately I cannot actually cook those bluegill. Um, Jacob, who was fishing with me, notified me that the, there was actually some sort of chemical put into that pond to keep algae off it and it wouldn't be safe to eat the fish out of there. So. Uh, Kind of sucks that we killed the fish, but we can't eat them. But the good thing is we won't, they won't go to waste because Jacob catfishes every now and then. So I just put the fillets in my freezer and he can use them for bait and catch some catfish off it. But uh, I kind of feel bad killing them because I'm not going to use them, but he'll use them. Uh, but still fun video. Still had a good time uh, 
catching those fish on the fly. Caught a, my first ever bass on the fly. Um, two bass, I think I caught. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah, it's the day after I was fishing yesterday, and I had a good day yesterday. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry you don't get to see the cooking part, but I don't want to die. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching.